It's great to have Selena, who is Chief Digital Knowledge Hub of the ITU, who's come along today to have a short discussion with us. Hi, Selena. Hi, Jeanette. It's great to be here. Great yeah. to be back in Singapore. Great to be with the GSMA. Yeah, and we've had a very exciting discussion with a keynote session there. You were absolutely marvelous. Thank Lots you. of interaction. Thank you. So, I'd like to ask you one question first, but we've got a couple of questions, Sarah and I, so you're sandwiched between the two of us. No, not too difficult, I no, hope. No, 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 not too difficult. So the first question, this conference is about digital nations. So what do you think is a successful digital nation? Okay, that's a toughie because let's just say that at the ITU, we, we're very careful about how we describe things. And we are on the cusp of looking at what a digital nation should look like. And we do this through the lens of digital transformation. So if we use that, then I would say that um, if a government has very successfully harnessed connectivity yes. with ICTs towards enhanced well-being, prosperity and sustainability, then you're probably there. But being a digital nation doesn't mean that you reach a certain threshold and then you stop. It's a continuous process. So if you can imagine a hamster, in a wheel, <laughs> I think that's it. So the digital transformation has to continuously be moving in order to become a digital nation. And it also means that you have not um, put aside the gaps. Because with digital, there are still the divides and yes. there are gaps. Yeah. And there are three gaps that you probably would want to close or just reduce if you're a digital nation. And that's a usage gap, a connectivity gap, and um, you are achieving the concept of universal and meaningful connectivity. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. And, and great to hear that you mentioned meaningful connectivity. Yes. Which is something that the GSMA yes. has also contributed to the ITU. That's right. And you worked with us on the universal and meaningful yeah. connectivity, connectivity targets. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Thank I you. think I'll, I'll connect. <laughs> okay, don't be difficult. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not at all. So you know that we're talking about digital nations and safety and trust is one of the most yes. important pillars. So in your opinion, what do you think policymakers and regulators need to do to enable uh, safety and trust amongst customers and uh, businesses? First of all, in order to, take, to encourage, I think, the consumers to take up services, the government must take up the services themselves. Yeah? Hmm. So that's a start. And there must be continuous education. I mean, it's been said to death, but we never, never not want to say it, and you can't say it enough. There must be enough media literacy um, programs. You must teach people about uh, digital hygiene uh, because that really increases trust. And you have to create partnerships in order to get people to come on board digital. You have to create these partnerships. And it's such an important part of the digital ecosystem. There's no one party. It used to be that no one nation could do anything alone. Mm. Now, no one party can do anything alone. So it's not just within nations that you have to hold hands with everyone, but even amongst nations, you have to. And, and this fits very well into GSMA's whole of government mm -hmm. narrative, where we also talk about, you know, not working in silos, but coordinating and collaborating amongst different stakeholders. So, yes. Yeah, very well put forward. And yeah. Yeah, to you for the last question. Okay, the last question, <laughs> Selena, and then we'll let you go and have a well-deserved cup of coffee. Thank you. So. What are you expecting to get out of this uh, Digital Nations Conference, the N360 Digital Nations Conference? What are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to listening to what everybody has to say because everyone has a different idea of what a digital nation should look like. And so it will be great to see where we intersect mm. and where the differences are because, you know, you learn from that. And the most important thing about a GSMA conference and any conference for that matter, but in particular GSMA because you bring everyone together, just like the ITU, <laughs> is, is that it's not just a networking platform, it's a platform for really potential partnerships. And I'm looking forward to really forging some of these partnerships moving forward. I mean, that with that is absolutely spot on for what we want. We want partnerships outcomes, not just talk, yes. talk. We want some outcomes. Absolutely. Thank okay, you. Selena, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Th thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank, thank you. you.